Oh, I'm such a f noob, a noob, a noob. I'm such a noob, noob. Woohoo! I really need a moment to vent about the Spider Man Remastered game. Because it's kinda crap. I mean, I actually planned on doing two separate videos about some of the mechanics that really annoy me, but I figured I could just combine them in one video and just take a dump on the entire game. Why? Because I can. So we all know how Sony has been slowly but steadily releasing their titles to PC. Um, and one of them that I've been particularly looking forward to was the Spider-Man game. I mean, at the time of release, I saw a load of positive reviews and people were claiming this would be the epitome of superhero games, the end-all, be-all. Spider-Man is back. I played a fair bit of the game. I didn't finish it all the way through because, uh, well, we'll get into that. But I played a fair amount of it. And after a few hours, I basically found out that this game is an Arkham Knight reskin. And I felt a bit cheated. I mean, at first I was really into it. Like, it has an amazing map. It has really good graphics. It's well polished. I haven't experienced any game-breaking glitches or bugs. And the web swinging, the traversal is just amazing. They did an amazing job at it. It's, it's so obvious that they've put so much attention and detail in making that feel good. And it's probably the most fun that I've ever had in traveling from point A to B in a video game. Um, maybe besides prototype, but I haven't touched that game in like forever, so I'm just basing that on my memory alone. Um, but traveling from point A to point B doesn't make a game good no matter how much time effort and polish you put into it and besides the web swinging in this game the rest of it just feels like arkham knight like i said like like from the open world encounters to the mission structure to the fights itself i mean it just feels like i have played this game several times before and even though i didn't even finish one playthrough of this game it's it seems so obviously developed with some kind of checklist in mind. Like, tick all the boxes and then you have a good game, right? Combat like Arkham Knight? Check. Investigative elements and puzzles like Arkham Knight? Check. City turns to chaos like Arkham Knight? Check. And maybe it's just me, but it, it, it feels soulless. And seeing all those positive reviews back then just made me think that it wouldn't be like that okay so my own expectations are obviously also to blame here but 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 but, but i won't take all the blame here because there are some things in this game that are just so asinine that i'm steadily losing brain cells by just thinking of them two things in particular and just let me straight up begin with the first one Stealth missions. These missions are just so tedious, unnecessary, and unfun to play. Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your oh. Craig. Dang, she's pissed. Don't mind me. It is most definitely a threat. Like, you walk around like a civilian. It's either Mary Jane or Miles Morales. And you throw around bait and stones like it's the Pokemon Safari Zone. And you're probably thinking... No, no, Carlos. Stealth games are really epic. And you have to be really sneaky and big brain and you just suck and your mom doesn't love you. And although all of those statements are somewhat true, it's these missions are not hard by any measure. And like it's they're all the same and they're all just there. And there are so goddamn many of them like. I mean, I know a lot of people do enjoy stealth in video games. 
But for me, when I play a video game uh, and I get to a section where I cannot be seen and have to take things slowly and steadily, you know, my ADHD brain just goes... So it's obviously not for me, okay? So, and I avoid stealth games like Assassin's Creed and Hitman and Splinter Cell. Just not my shiz, okay? So I choose to play a superhero game, right? Because I just want to be the guy that kicks bubblegum and chews ass. Like, just let me do the f Spider-Man thing. I don't want to be crawling around in some kind of filthy corner. I want to escape reality, not relive it on a screen. And, like, at least give me the option to Leroy Jenkins my way through the mission, right? Make it even harder if, if, the, if you do it that way. I'm fine with that. But no, you just sit down and eat your damn Brussels sprouts like the stupid little fart face you are. It's just a dumb, uninteresting, mandatory part of the game that literally doesn't add anything. All of those missions could have just as well be skippable cutscenes. I mean... Who are we kidding, right? And speaking of cutscenes, let's get to the next part. Quick time events. I had actually forgotten that these motherfuckers still existed. Like, I hadn't come across one of them in the longest time. But almost every game has some kind of quick time event in them. I basically to press R to reload front is also a quick time event. Ah! Shut up! It's not the same. I mean, real quick time events, right? Where you are basically watching a cutscene and occasionally press a button. Just like watching a YouTube video and the mid-roll starts playing, so you press the skip ad button. Like, this game is riddled with them. From the car chases, to the missions, to the boss fight, it never ends. I mean, I guess you have to look at this game the same way you look at an MCU movie. I don't think too much about it. The same with the QTEs. Not the biggest fan of quick time events, but. I mean, it's cool cinematic, I guess. QTE, QTE, press A, tap X, left trigger, right trigger, left bumper, right bumper. <laughs> Like, it seems to me that this is just all padding content into the game, so they can say the campaign is 35 to 40 hours long. <sighs> I mean, that number in itself it seems to me like they're already stretching it. Um, but imagine what would be left if you took out all the tedious stealth segments and all the quick time events. Like, you'd probably be left with like, what, two thirds of the actual playing time that they, that they claim it to be now? And what's left when you take away all the padding is just average at best, with the exception of the web swinging. Like everything else in this game just feels like rehashed content. I've played this game before in Infamous. I've played this game before in Arkham Knight. I've played this game before in Prototype. Like it's, there's nothing new here. And I find it so weird that m the most reviews are super positive about the game and don't mention this at all. Maybe because it released four years ago initially. Maybe because it was really well polished and we're just, we're just used to games being released in a broken state. So when they release as they are actually supposed to, we give them extra credit or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me and my expectations that, that are completely to blame here. Like, I don't know for sure, man. But what I do know for sure is that it made me get sick of the game before even finishing it. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked the video, you can do the thing. And maybe even do the thing. Bye!